Yo, how's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you the best recording settings for Streamlabs OBS for 2K quality. Um, these are my personal preference for how to stream in 2K. So I'm going to open up my settings and um, show you in video. We're going to be recording at 2 2056 by 1440 or 2560 by 1440. And a lot of people ask me how I get the quality I get. And it's pretty simple. And these produce actually decently small file sizes. I'm going to say decently because they're still pretty large file sizes. When you record in 2K 60 FPS, you're going to be getting some large files. But if you are recording in 1080p, you get a bit, a little bit smaller. However, um, they are decently small files compared to what I used to be getting where they were completely overwhelming my hard drive. So first off in my video tab, I'm running at 2560 by 1440 and I am using the Lanzos. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Um, I have a i9 9900K and a 1080 Ti, so I am able to use this with no issues whatsoever. If you are someone who is running maybe a lower end CPU or lower end GPU and you're having FPS issues, this would be the first thing I'd try and dim down. I'm assuming if you're if you're streaming and running games at 2K, you probably have pretty good, uh, pretty good parts, but um, you can change this and this will pretty much help with your FPS. Um, I've looked at the video quality that there, there's not a huge difference. There's some difference. Yeah, but uh, I prefer prefer this last option here. And I like having a common FPS value of 60 and some people record in 30. If you're playing some games, 30 FPS is okay. Uh, definitely though, majority of the games you do want to record in 60 FPS. And when you upload to YouTube, of course, most videos are going to show up as 1080p, 60 FPS or 2K, 60 FPS. So. 60 FPS is definitely the, the wave nowadays. So if we go to outputs, this is where a lot of our settings are going to be. So first off, uh, I'm using type standard. I don't even think there is another type, uh, whatever. You can change your path to where you want your output files to be. As you can see, I'm using an E drive, so I have multiple hard drives. So I have one hard drive designated specifically for my recording files. Um, so generate file name out space. That's just personal preference as well. I like MP4 videos. I really wouldn't recommend any of these other video types. You could use a dot uh, MOV file. Um, however, I'm going to stick with mp4 as that's my preference audio tracks i'm not going to go too far in depth into because that is quite a more in-depth topic um if you are editing a video you can have different audio tracks that way in your video you're editing you can mute different audio so with my Go XLR, I'm able to have my gameplay as audio number two, and I'm able to have my mic as audio track number three. So that way, if I want to enhance my mic, maybe I sound very quiet that day, I want to change the volume of my mic, I'm able to do that without affecting my gameplay volume. And that's something that's super nice, and I might make a tutorial about later on. So if you are running, I believe a, uh, I want to say it's a 10 series or higher graphics card. Oh, so it's actually the 600 series or higher. I was way off. I thought it was the 10 series or uh, yeah, I thought it was the 10 series or higher. So yeah, so it looks like a lot of people actually are going to be able to use the MVEC new. And if you can, I definitely suggest you use that. 
And so now this is where we get into a little bit further detail. So um, constant bitrate, I feel, is very important. You can go with a variable bit, variable bit rate lossless. Um, I really enjoy having a constant bit rate and my bit rate is 70,000. Now, some people may look at this and say that is insanely high. Some people will say that's kind of average and some people say you can go a lot higher. 70,000, uh, you can go back and watch my 2K videos. My videos look great for 2K in my opinion and they are also not a uh, hundred gigabyte files for a 30 minute recording so if i pull up my last recordings um so if we go to my new folder so this 22 gigabytes let's see how long this video was this video was a 2k video i did and it was 46 minutes 46 minutes and only a 22 gigabyte file. I was dealing with files that were 100 plus gigabytes before with the old settings I had. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just trying to do settings that I thought worked. But I finally found out that this 70,000 bit rate is awesome for 2K. We're going to use a keyframe interval of 2 and our preset as max quality. Now, once again, if you are having FPS issues, you can change this. You can go down to quality. You can go down to performance. Anything lower than performance, you might see you might see some artifacting and changes in your recording. It might not look as well. Um, I do recommend if you can max quality or quality if you have to performance anything lower you probably should consider just keep recording at 1080p 60 fps next is our profile uh definitely i suggest looking to use a high profile we won't be using look ahead i'm not really 100 percent sure what look ahead does um i don't know why i just Oh, I switched to whatever. I don't recommend using look ahead. Psychovisual tuning, however, I do recommend. Our GPU, we're just gonna select zero and our max B frames as two. Our audio, if you really want to, you can change it. I actually need to update this. I changed it to 192 my old microphone setup i was able to run at um 192 bit rate however with my new microphone i don't think i can so that's something i should actually change but heading onwards advanced um most of the stuff i honestly haven't touched i've left this all blank and as normal processing, I mean, you can set this to above normal or high, but when I'm recording, I don't really find my CPU or my computer in general stressing. When I'm recording, um, I tend to, I tend to have good FPS and no issues really. And the rest of these, this is all just other stuff that doesn't really matter when we're looking at just our recording settings. So it's just going to be in our video and output. And yeah, I, if there's not much else to say than that, if you want, you can, you can mess with your bit rate. If you're having FPS issues, also you can lower it or raise it. But if you lower your bit rate, you will start having issues with your 2K video where it might not look like 2K quality. So 70,000 I definitely think is a good medium that is suitable for a lot of people. So I'm not gonna go too much further in depth. I'm gonna leave it at that. If you guys like this video, feel free to leave it a like. If you like my content, feel free to subscribe. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video.